Hi everyone, my name is Jackie and today I'm going to be leading you through a flexibility and balance workout. So let's get started. We're going to start off with an arm stretch. So bring one arm across your body and hold it with your opposite arm. You can adjust the tension on this just by pulling back more with that opposite arm. Just to the point of tension, but there shouldn't be any pain. And we're going to have a lot of emphasis on breathing today. So we just want to get nice and loose, nice and relaxed. So throughout this, make sure we're taking deep breaths in through our nose and out through the mouth. All right, very good. We'll hold this for just a bit longer. Okay, three, two, one, shake it out and switch. Very good. I hope you all are having a wonderful day so far. This is a nice workout just for some relaxation if you're sore at all. And of course to improve your balance. So keep pulling that arm. You can add or release the tension as much as you would like to. Three, two, one, release. All right, next, we're gonna clasp our hands behind us and really press out so that your chest is opening up. And we're gonna take some nice deep breaths. You can also look up to the ceiling just to really emphasize opening up your chest. And pressing your shoulder blades together behind. Very nice. We're going to hold this for a couple more seconds. Good work, everyone. All right, and three, two, one. We're going to do the same thing, but in front. So clasp your hands, and this time press forward as much as you can. You should feel the separation of your shoulder blades as you press forward more. Very good. Once again, nice deep breaths. And keep that tension. Doing great. Here we go. Three. Two, one, release. All right, we're gonna bring one arm over the head and bend it behind you. The next arm's gonna be on that elbow, pushing it back behind you. This is gonna stretch your tricep. So you should feel that right in here. Once again, you can adjust the tension with this opposite arm, how much you decide to push back on it. Great work. Breathing slow and deep. Wonderful job. We just have a couple more seconds before we switch. Here we go. Three, two, one, switch. Very nice. Feeling good. Next, we're going to stretch out our abs a little bit. So, this is exciting. Three more seconds. Two, one. Keep those arms up for this next one. We're going to reach to the sky and lean backwards so that you feel the stretch in your abs here. Again, just opening up. You can look up to the sky to help with that. Very good. 
I'm gonna hold this for just a few more seconds. Make sure we're taking those nice, deep, long breaths and relaxing into this. And next, we're gonna take one arm in three, two, one. So leave one up, put that other arm on your hip, and we're gonna lean over the side. Now for this, I really wanna emphasize stretching this outer side it, as opposed to crunching the inner side. So we're really reaching up with that top arm to extend that side of your body with the arm that's up. Very nice. Just whatever is comfortable for you. That leans a little more straight up or deeper into the curve. Whatever feels good for stretching those obliques. Here we go. Three, two, one, switch. Nice deep breath into that. Very good. We're gonna hold this once again. After this one, in a couple seconds, we're gonna move to quad pose and do some more lower body stretches in three, two, one. So for these quad pulls, if you need something to help you balance, you can use a chair, that works great. But we're just gonna take one leg, hold it at the ankle, and pull it behind you. Very nice. I found that it helps to find just one spot on the floor to focus on, that really helps with balance. And try to challenge yourself, pull that leg back further. You don't want any pain, but just that nice stretch in the quads. Very good. For a little bit more of a challenge, you can try to reach down, touch the floor, and come back up. That really is a challenge with the balance. So if you'd like to improve your balance a lot more, you can try that. And three, two, one, switch. There we go. Once again, if you need to hold a chair, that's awesome. Also, if you'd like to challenge yourself by leaning forward, coming back up, it's a little more difficult. Nice work, everyone. Feeling that stretch in the quad. And three, two, one, release. Next we have ankle on your knee. This is another balance one. And you're gonna kind of sit into this so that you feel the stretch up in here. Your hip flexor. And on the outside, call your adductors. Abductors. Woo! Sometimes I lose my balance too. This is another one where you can use a chair to help with the balance. But we're really sitting into it. Nice work, everyone. Three, two, one, switch. So once again, ankle on the knee and crouching down until you feel that tension in your hip. Very nice. To increase the intensity for that balance aspect, you can put your hands out to your side. I think it's very stabilizing also to put them on your leg here. Make sure we're breathing. Nice big breaths through the nose, out through the mouth. And three, two, one, release. All right. 
Next, we're doing a side lunge. So you're gonna step out with one leg and sit back into it. We wanna avoid letting the knee go further than your toes. So that's why we really wanna sit back and you should feel the stretch on your inner thigh. Here we go. Good work, everyone. A few more seconds with this one. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Very nice. Once again, we're sitting back into it, pushing the hips behind us. So that knee doesn't go past your toes. And just as deep as you, you want to. If you feel the stretch up here, awesome. If you need to go a little bit deeper before you feel that tension, do that, whatever you gotta do. All right, and three, two, one. This next one is called warrior pose. So it's a bit of a front lunge with your arms up and really pressing the hips forward. So you should feel the stretch in this hip flexor. And once again in the abs when you stretch out this upward direction. Very good. Don't forget to breathe. Looking great. We have a couple more seconds before we switch. Three, two, one. You can stand up, shake it out, and then get right back into it with the opposite leg. Very good. And that back leg is just hovering off the ground. Doesn't need to touch the ground. And you can go as deep or as high as you'd like to. The deeper just creates more of a stretch. Very good. Pushing those hips forward for three, two, one, up. All right, these next stretches are gonna be against a wall. So here we go. First it is an arm right here. So you put one arm against the wall and turn away from it. Very nice, you should feel this stretch all the way up your arm from the bicep all the way to the shoulder. Good work. And three, two, one. Let's switch. Next arm on the wall, turning away from it. Very good. Holding this here for just a few more seconds. Three, two, one, release. Next, we're gonna use the wall for a calf stretch. So you can put your toes up against the wall and your heel on the ground. And for more of a stretch, bring your body closer to the wall. And a little less intensity, you can bring it farther away to adjust that tension in the calf. Nice work, everyone. Here we go. Just a few more seconds. Three, two, one, switch. All right. We're gonna hold this for a little bit longer. And then our last wall stretch is gonna be child's pose, but against the wall. So I'll demonstrate what that looks like. But that will be our last one on the wall. All right, and three, two, 
two, one, release. All right, so for this child's pose, you put both arms on the wall and get down onto your knees. So you can slowly walk your hands down. We're going to press our shoulders in. Press our chest towards the wall so that you feel that stretch in your shoulders. Very nice. Keep holding this and breathing as we go. Three, two, one, release. All right, now we're gonna do normal child's pose on the ground for a little more back stretch. Here we go. Into this position and relax. You can put your head down between your shoulders and just relax that lower back into the stretch. Very nice. A couple more seconds. Nice deep breaths. All right, and now we'll get up into a cat cow stretch. So we have arching our back upward for the cat and then bringing it down and flat with that head up for cow. We'll do this 10 times. Exhale on the way down. Inhale on the way up. Nice and slow. Very good. This should be nice and relaxing. Good for stretching out and loosening up that back. Good work. We have four more. Here we go. Good, two, and one. While we're in this position, we're gonna do a calf stretch. So put one leg out, one leg on top of it, and push your body weight back into that calf. Very nice. We'll hold this for about 20 seconds and then switch. Good work, everyone. And we'll switch in three, two, one. There we go, pressing into it. work. Very relaxing. And three, two, one. We're going to get into a side plank now. So there's a couple different modifications for this one. We're going to be up on our arm and stretching out this way. Back to center and switching sides. Now, if this is too difficult up on the arm like this, you can do a side plank with your forearm and just hold it with your arm up and then switch when I let you know. Otherwise, we're up doing this one. If you're down on your forearms, you can switch now to the other side. 
Very good. If you're up, we just have a few more. Ready? Three, two, one. Good. Everyone's finished. All right. Next, we're going to sit down and we're going to press out our shoulders. So prop yourself up and lean forward so that you feel this stretch in your shoulders and your biceps. Very nice. So for more of a stretch, you just need to move forward more. Or to decrease that intensity, you can move back into it. Great work. Nice deep breaths. I know those planks were pretty intense, so keep breathing nice and deep. Three, two, one. Next we have one leg straight out. And let me adjust this. There we go. One leg straight out, the other foot goes over that leg and you're gonna twist away from that. Put your opposite arm against that knee. Good. And then twist away by pushing against your knee with that arm. So you should feel this stretch through your back and in your glute. Very nice. Holding this for just a few more seconds. Three, two, one, switch. Once again, that leg just around where the knee of the other leg is and pushing against it. Great work. Don't forget our breathing. And three, two, one. All right, we're going to lay back into this next one. We're still gonna have one leg crossing over the other while the other one is straight out. And you're just gonna pull this over your body until you feel that tension in your glutes. Very nice. And just relax into this. All right. Three, two, one, switch. Once again, we're pulling this across. Good work, everyone. We have about 10 more seconds. Keep holding. Three, two, one. Release. We're going to stay in this position. Lift one leg straight up and hold it. So this is a good hamstring stretch. You should feel this tension here. The back of your thigh. Very good. If you want to increase the intensity of this, you can reach up more towards that ankle. Great work. Continue to breathe deeply. We will switch in three, two, one. Next leg, straight up in the air. Keep it up. 
just a few more seconds. Good. And three, two, one. For our very last motion, we're going to have our knees bent, arms out at your side. We're going to do a hip roll. So it's going to go side to side. Very good. We'll do 10 each side. This is really nice for loosening up your back. And just relaxing for this last stretch of our workout. Good. Three more each side. And done. Very nice. You all did a wonderful job and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.